Alright, good morning. <laughs> so you know about basic stats in the ACT, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what's stats, alright? So pretty much the branch of mathematics and let us interpret data, analyze data, and then pretty much without this, gathering the data won't be really much helpful, right? This is used all over the place. Psychology, business, medicine, economics, and the science, right? Even when you play sports, you use it, right? Yeah. Can a game give me an example? Like how many slam dunks that is played against yeah, oh. yeah. Rebounds. 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 Anyone else have this? Anyone? I don't know. Shots. 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 So basketball? Yes. Yeah. How about uh, another word? An anywhere other than sports? Uh, medicine. High business. Business? Yeah. Medicine? Anywhere no, else that's not, <laughs> that I did not mention? Oh. No. Um, uh, that's a big one. Every time <coughs> something was a big fight, a big game, Everybody says this. You, it's the Super Bowl. Did anyone see it, the Super Bowl stats? Yeah. Who was going to win? Yeah. Right? Oh. Oh. Right? Like People who win. like to put, place bets like to use stats. Sebastian. Okay? So if you don't know what the stats mean and you place your money, I mean, you're going in blind. So we also looked at probability, like I said, the odds of everything. Correct? So, as Victor was saying about slam dogs, we use ratios, proportions, right, to look at stuff. It's just a small take of the big picture, meaning small picture of the big, small picture of the big slice, right, of the big overall pie, right? Mm -hmm. So you can use pie charts, fractions, and odds and groups, right, mm -hmm. to look at this. So think of division, think of fractions when you hear this, right? Not addition, not subtraction, but we divide, right? Mm -hmm. So this is helpful because we could see how groups are spread out, right? So if we look at the, so let's see this. Who here has iPhones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only three? of us, or most of myself, only four of us don't, right? So you guys are part of the big picture, right? Yeah. The majority, right? So four out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 75% of the class has iPhones, right? Mm -hmm. So if Apple came in, Apple would be the best, the best uh, product to sell you guys, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. See how you use business with so this? Ecosystem. Yes, <laughs> this is an Apple ecosystem. <laughs> so in other words, if you look at a pie chart, right? This is uh, which how you go into the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys know what Opera is? You know, no. the web browser. Probably from like China. <laughs> it's okay if you guys don't know. I don't get you know what Chrome is, right? No. Uh, no. <laughs> internet Explorer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Firefox? Firefox is a Safari. Yeah. Where do you think Safari came from? Apple. What can you infer with Safari? Apple. The jungle. With a... <laughs> no, no, no. Redeem yourself. What can you infer with Safari? With this picture, what can you assume? With this, uh, say there's 100 people, right? And 15% use Safari. What can I assume about this group? Where do where who has this, who access Apple? You just said it. Sorry, I just tell you the answer. <laughs> Apple uses Safari, right? And only Apple uses Safari, correct? Yeah. So I could infer that fifteen percent of this group is only <coughs> Apple consumers, correct? Yeah. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. The rest, whatever, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. But if I was in, I was I was working for Apple, right? Now I looked at this. 15% is not far from 19, right? 15% yeah. is almost close. Well, half of it is 30, right? Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know who people, why you guys use in Explorer still. It's garbage. It's garbage, yeah, it so, is. Wait, what does Samsung use? Uh, we use Chrome. 
<laughs> I hope you use Chrome. No, we have Android, but that's different. So examples, right? Yeah. Let's say this is for every three blue squares. I get one yellow square, right? Yeah. So these are the odds, right? What's the sample size? Let's see if you guys four. know what that means. Four. 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 Three plus one is four, right? Yeah. So this could be, what's the percentage of this? Seventy-five Of what? Okay. You can't just say 75%. Oh. I know, but 75%. Who, who is 75%? The blue. There you go. Yes, you say blue is 75%. Yeah. So you put context, all right? This is stats. I t say that stats, statistics, is mathematics and English combined, right? Yes. It's use English. More importantly, it's more English based. How you say it matters, okay? Mm -hmm. If you can't say it right, you get you misinform people, okay? okay? So again, this could be referred to our little group we did, right? Three out of one, right? Yeah. Or apple, correct? Mm -hmm. The rest is. Not Apple. You can't say Android because you don't know it's Android, right? You took the survey based on Apple. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. All right, this is your turn. There's 16 ducks and measure the geese in a certain park. Express the ratio of ducks to geese in all three formats. So just give me the, I don't say all three formats, just put the semicolon. So in this case, if I had three blue squares and one yellow square, I'll put it just like in that format. If I want to do a ratio, I'll just put three over one. Make sense? Mm -hmm. No, you don't need a calculator for this one. <laughs> It's just no, no percentage, whole numbers. It, it gives you a clearer picture, right? Yeah. So, um, my uncle likes to buy lottery lottery tickets. Okay, a few years ago, I saw the odds. Do you ever see the odds of winning? The one stands for winning, right? Right, and then uh, the semicolon tells you uh, losing. Correct. Mm -hmm. I, if I remember correctly, there was one lottery ticket that says one semi uh, colon eight. It's it's colon, not semicolon. What does that mean? One in every person. Uh, close. We're not talking about people. Oh. Because it's not the people who 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 gives um that you scratch, right? I hope not. <laughs> it's the ticket, right? So if you buy nine tickets, right? You have the probability of winning once, correct? Yeah. So you'll lose eight times and win once. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then there's other odds, but you could look at the other odds. So if it's uh, 250, right? You have to buy 250 tickets and win that prize. Does it make sense? Yeah. Because after the 251, you should win. But again, probability doesn't, probability says, yeah, you should win. But there's other factors to include, as in, no one's going to buy 251 tickets. Because if you do, why are you buying the ticket? Just go invest in somewhere else. So you should pretty much get this, right? Um, the reason they put 16 first is because they wanted the ratio of ducks to geese. If it's geese to ducks, you just flip the numbers. Make sense? Yep. How about percentage-wise? You have 800 students. 12% 12 12 of them stay after school for chess club. How many students are that? Are how many students does chess club have? Uh, I use my calculator. What's 8 times 12? Uh, 96. 96, right? So what's 800 times 0. 0.12? 0. 0.12. 0. 0. 
Ninety six. Ninety six. Yes. So you get the percentage. Yeah. Change it to a decimal. You guys know how to change it to a decimal, right? Yeah. Please work. I hope this doesn't work. Please <laughs> work. <laughs> so, 800 times 0.12, right? 12%. Move it twice, you get 0.2, right? What's 8 times 12? 96, right? Add 2... 96, add two zeros, right? You get 9,600, correct? <coughs> Decimal point, right? Two, so, get this right here. One, two, right? So the answer should be, what? 96 students, right? So this one came out clean. Let's say we have 96.4 students. What's the answer? 97. Would you write down or up? Can't have like half a person. Right. Don't you have to write down? I know. I will round down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's four. Because it's yeah. four. Just to be on the safe side. Depending on on the teacher also, it depends. But for me, I always round down. Just to be safe. Right? So that's pretty much with the deal with ratios and proportions and all that stuff. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Does the pie chart make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Right? ACT question. So we have a high school, 7% of the juniors and 5% of the seniors were included in the National Honor Society, right? We have 500 and 62 juniors and 602 seniors, right? How many do we have in total that went to the Honor Society? So, forget that one now. Awesome. It's the total numbers times the percentage to get how many are in that group, okay? So, I need an answer. Whoever tells me, to, if you get an answer, just tell me. So it's B, oh, it's 69. <laughs> What's the same percent for? Juniors or seniors? Juniors. What's the, how many juniors do I have in total? 500. This is 7%, right? What's the answer? 39.34. And then. Six or six. Six or three. Six or six. 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 Six so that ACT wants you to round down regular rules, right? Yeah. Makes sense, correct? Oh, total. 
Okay. So graph equations and analysis, right? What does that mean? That means that if I give you a graph, I expect you to tell me what you're seeing or what you're looking at. Okay? That means that the axis has to be labeled. If you have units, please include them, right? If you have an equation, you should at least know what it's saying, right? Uh, two weeks ago, what was the equation that you guys should know if I give it to you? The one that has a rate and a starting point. What should come in mind? Oh. A rate and a starting point. Okay. I gave it to you guys. Y equals mx plus b? Yes, a line, right? Yeah. A rate is the, the m y equals mx plus b. What's the rate, guys? The slope. Which m is degree. m, right? Which is the slope. What's the starting point, guys? B. B, right? The y-intercept, correct? Mm -hmm. That's one that I see always, always in this book, right? So like I said, common equations, y equals mx plus v, right? And being the rate, if it's increasing, how should it look like? Make just up. How? Increasing. Oh, like this, right? Mm -hmm. Decreasing? Decreasing What's your slope if it's going like this? Positive or negative? Negative. Undefined. This is undefined. No. <laughs> That's zero. Zero, right? Yeah. What does this mean if there's no slope? It's zero. There's, parallel. There's, there's parallel means I have two lines. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> it means it doesn't increase or decrease? It stays. There's a word. It's constant. 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 Okay? So. There's no change. It's constant. Okay? You won't really see undefined slopes because it's undefined. I'll let you use it. Um, making equations and we have interest. So if you guys remember how to do interest, we'll go over it. Making equations, making most of the time we'll be making linear equations. Y equals mx plus b, right? If I had to pay for some weird reason five dollars every time I pump gas, right? What's b? Right. Every time I had to pump gas, no matter how much I have to put in, I have to pay five bucks, correct? And then the rate is how much to charge me, right? Which is the slope. Like I said, graph analysis, if it's increasing, decreasing, or stays consistent, right? Mm -hmm. You guys know if it goes up, it's increasing. If it goes down, it's decreasing, right? Yes. If it stays flat, it means it's consistent, right? There is no change, right? Uh, temperature, say that the temperature Today was the same as yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Or the whole entire week, correct? Yes. Same thing. Can you guys see that? No, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. So we have a graph showing. Below the total number of music album sales, pick your favorite artist, and you could make it fun in millions of in millions each year from 1997 to 2009. Based on the graph, which is the following best describes the general trend in music album sales from 1997 through 2009? Can you guys see that? What can you tell me about this graph? Let's let's pick an artist. That is school for um, Jimmy Hendrix. Is that? He was a, he was a famous uh, person. <laughs> so, what can you tell me about the albums? Thing. How they start off? Start off Actually, let's not put Jimmy Hendrix because I don't like how it ends. Uh, Justin Bieber. Yes. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> that's appropriate for this for this chart. Uh, <laughs> so how did it start off? Increased. Increased, right? Yeah. When can you tell me it decreased? 
2004. What number on the four? Three. Yeah. So three plus 1997 is 2000, right? At 2000, he decreased. Now, here's a question that they don't ask. Did it decrease slowly or rapidly or how did it decrease? Did it take its time? Now, this is opinion based, but I believe you guys will have the same opinion. Did it just go down or did it take its time? Time. You guys see that, right? Yes. Did it take its time also to rise? Right? Yeah. See, it's like little by little by little by little. Didn't go like skyrocket, right? Mm -hmm. So it turns out the answer is D. That's <laughs> what we just said, correct? Yes. Right? Sorry, the answer is C. C C. I looked at the other. Two thousand, right? Yes. Went up, but then went down, right? Let's talk about sports. So we have a graph, right? What does the, the graph represent? It represents swimming time versus heart rate. Before we look at the graph, what do you expect? If you swim a lot, do you expect the heart rate to go up or down? Uh, to a point, right? Yes. Right? Yes. I know you guys are athletes. What happens if, I, if after your game? Are you full of energy or are you tired? Tired. You're mostly full of energy in the uh, in the game, what part of the game? Beginning. Beginning, right? Unless you're a uh, boxer, you go out in the beginning, right? So I'm asking you again, do you expect the heart rate to go up in the beginning or at the end? Beginning. Yeah. Beginning, right? You're full of energy, right? You just warmed up, right? As you keep on going, you get more and more tired, correct? Yeah. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Did I use any math? No. Right now? No, right? Logic. I use not logic. That's not logic. Because I, 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 if it was up to me, I would expect to be um, more active at the end, right? Yeah. What I use personal experience, right? That's another. That's another thing you need to do for stats, right? You gotta put your personal experience in reading this chart, right? Now all the time, logic's gonna work. So what does this say? What can you tell me about this if I just ask you about this graph? Okay, no, 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 that's the first part. That's heart rate increases, right? No, no, sorry. Swimming time increases, because that's the x-axis. Here we start with the x-axis. Heart rate decreases, right? Because it's going down, okay? So, find me the slope of that line. Um, uh, this is 37x, y is 127. This is 33x, heart rate is 160. I just gave you guys two points to find the slope. So the first point is 37. One twenty. Another point will be 33, 160. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Why you try, guys? Oh, this was 
What's the slot? The slope for this is negative 10. for swim time over beats per minute. For each for each uh, minute if I do the reciprocal I lose 10 beats from a heart rate. Cool. That's all it says. Okay? So you can predict when she will get tired. Right? If you're a coach right? You don't want your athlete to strain, right? Mm -hmm. So a coach could do this, right? Always optimize your athlete. See how stats is actually used in the real world? This yeah. is the part of math that actually matters. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> so if Michael swam 2,000 yards, right? On each 18 days, right, this plot shows his swim time, right, mm -hmm. and the uh, heart rate, right? Yeah. Uh, the swim took 34 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. What's Michael's actually heart rate? About how many beats per minute? This and that? Okay, so let's look at 34, right? It's right here, correct? Yeah, that's 34.5. Yes. 150, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Right there. So, what can we say if it's below or, or, or above? Below. What we, the estimation? It's like 150. So, below, right? But how much? By one, it's, the scale is by two. So, 140. 148. So, what's the answer? So, what's the answer? Uh, it was down by two, by two, two right? Yeah. You guys see it? Oh, it was down by two? You sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. For this one, I'll go over it with you. So we have a hike, okay? The time and then the miles from the site, okay? Uh, it says, when they, so she took a lunch, right? During her hike. Can you tell me where she took the lunch? At what time? So she's hiking, so she's hiking away from the campsite. Mm -hmm. When did she take her lunch? Um, a mile away. What, what time? Oh. One? Why? You're, you're, you're close, but yeah, you're right. Because it's not going anywhere, it's staying the same. Yeah. Ooh. It's consistent. That means that the distance didn't change. Unless she's going around in circles. <laughs> Like this, I'm not gonna do it all. But she stay there for a good what? You gotta estimate. Forty five minutes. Forty five minutes. Right? When did she go back? You said someone said it. When did it starts going down? Oh, at, two. Oh, at two, right? That's when she starts going back, right? Mm -hmm. 
What can you refer? Did you take the same route back? Take no. away this and then combine the two. Did she? No. No, right? So she so took a different route back, right? Yeah. Um, if you had a guess, maybe she went up a hill, right? Yeah. Or she just wanted to take another scenic route, correct? Another thing is you can infer from statistics. Okay. So this table shows so uh, twenty five people enter a contest contest, all right? Fourteen male, eleven female, but we also have twenty people under forty and forty people over forty. Okay? So we had to select someone from random, right? What 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 would be the probability that we get a female who is under forty or a male who's over forty? So let's look at it. Female under forty. How many those how many females do I have that are under forty? Eight. Eight. Eight, Eight out of what? Yeah, you guys right. In total. Because it's a contest and we wanna we can't exclude anyone in the contest. Not yet. Yeah. So you guys said it's eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Eight, yeah, eight out of twenty four. And then we wanna see how many males over forty. What's the answer? Which is? B. Yeah, right? B. Makes yes. sense? Everything's making sense, right? Yeah. I hope. <laughs> so, I thought this would be like later on, but okay. Uh, so we're having maintenance in the city's infrastructure, right? Mm -hmm. Civil engineer wants to estimate the population of the city, right? He It says that it will decrease 10% for every 20 years. The starting is 50,000. Uh, he wants to make an equation. Does it seem hard? When I was in your guys' shoes, this seemed hard for me. So... Yes. Okay. So, what's the answer? So, what's, so say, this big numbers, right? Let's get them down to size. Let's say we have 100 people, right? We lose half every 50, uh, every year, right? So we start with 100, right? Yes. We lose half first year. How many do I have? 50. Okay. Oh, we're running down, by the way, because it's not perfect. So we lose half again. How many do I have? 25. We lose half. What's half of 25? Just run down. 12. 12. Half. Six. Half. Three. Half. One. And, and then, so... Knowing that, how can I make an equation? No. Is it C? Actually, what'd you say? C. Because of his 10%. I don't know. Yeah. The yeah, answer, uh. It will decrease by 10% every 20 years. Oh, it's not. Is C. What? That's what he said. 
You guys know how? No. no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Do you guys remember how to use exponents, right? Yes. yes. If I have an exponent to the power of that exponent, <laughs> what do I do? You add it. You. <laughs> you add the exponents, right? What? <laughs> oh, you're not like that. Oh, you're not like that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so confused. What do I do with these two? Okay. Wait, that's right. So we lose um, 10%, right? We keep 90, correct? Does that make sense why it's 0.9? Yeah. Yeah, because oh, you're excluding. We just percent. keep ninety. Yeah. So let's change it, it. So we have a hundred people, twenty per, like core then leave, right? Mm -hmm. What's a hundred times point twenty five? How many do I get to keep? Twenty five. Yes. A hundred <laughs> times point seventy five. Because I only keep a, I lose a quarter, right? Mm -hmm. And then. 75 times point 25. I get to keep 18.75. I'll run up, I get to keep 19. Okay? Sorry, I lose 19. So I get to keep 56. Alright? So, knowing that. So that's the first one, right? I'm not gonna do any math, okay? That's how much I get to keep. Any questions with that? He wants to know the population, right? If I use point one at doing the one that I are leaving, right? Point nine stays, correct? That's why he's using point nine, okay? This is the one that I get to keep, correct? And then I times this again by Point, point nine, right? How many times am I going to do this for? How many years? This is the first year, guys, right? Yeah. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, right? 20. 20 years, right? Yes. Which number gets repeated? The 50 or the point nine? Point nine. So who gets the next point of 20? Point nine, right? Yeah. So that's why. But why is it not? It's not twenty times t. It's t over twenty. So then. It's because you have to divide all the years by twenty since it goes into years. Yes. We're going down, not up. We're going up. Yes, we're decreasing. So the first. The answer is d. The answer is d. Oh. Yeah, the answer is d. It was. I know. I said c. But um, I redo it real quick. But no, the answer is D. Uh, T years from now, right? Two years from now, right? Three years from now. Okay, we're not going up. We're going down. Okay, so big picture. What does the average tell me? The average tells me the normal number. Normal, in other words, means fair, okay? And I say fair is not always fair. You'll see right now, you'll see. I have, okay. I have graphs, I have pictures, I have the whole thing, all right? Okay. Standard deviation tells me how far the data set is from the, how much dispersion I have, okay? You guys seem like around the same height, so uh, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so if I did like an average of height, right, I will how to guess will be around Victor. What? No, he's pretty six foot. Six foot? Not six feet. Okay. <laughs> Let's say I have someone that's five eight. That's the okay. Now. <laughs> If I do age, I don't know what, it's better. If I do age, right? 
everybody here is around what? 16? 17. 17. 17. 17. <laughs> Sorry. What was it? They're like 16, 17. Yeah. Right? It's not that far off, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think the standard deviation will be like within months, not years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. okay. But if I do a standard, if I do a sample size of the teachers, right? You have a range of teachers, different age, right? Okay. If Mr. Farrell was here and I just took me, Pedro, and Mr. Farrell, right? will be a long dispersion, right? Mm -hmm. You guys see what I'm saying? Yeah. The standard deviation will be big. Here will be small. Okay? The median, the middle number, pretty much, right? The guy, the person that's in the middle, right? So me, Pedro, Farrell, Pedro will be in the middle, right? Large, oh, so the more people we have to take the survey, the better, right? It just makes sense, right? Yeah. More data, the better, right? Yes. More Not always. Oh, you know what? Yes. If you do it correctly. <laughs> Within, when you say, when I say more data, the better, I mean for that topic. Sometimes if you take the wrong number of people, like for one part, you will not get that out of your data. Random is always good, all right? Just remember that. But don't be biased. Okay. And only change one variable when you, when when they're asking. Okay. So they may ask you a question. Uh, scientists did such and such, right? Should he uh, change three variables, one variable? Should he have a consistency, right? Questions like these, right? So, normal distribution, okay? You have bell curves, all right? Don't worry about this. This is just for you to see, okay? This picture is just this, um, this picture, okay? Look at the mean. They have the same mean, right? But which one is more dispersed? Blue or orange? Orange. Uh, orange. Orange, right? So say we're taking a test, right? Do you want to be in the blue group or in the orange group? Blue. blue. You want to be in the blue group? Yeah. Do you want to score within the blue group? Oh. Or Let's. Orange. <laughs> I will be in the orange. Yes. <laughs> Let's let's I'll put myself in this, alright? Okay. Let's say I had didn't get a chance to study last night, right? Mm -hmm. But my other the other people did, right? Mm -hmm. For some weird reason. I scored around here. Do you think I'm gonna fail? Yeah. More than likely yes. But right here though no. I'm not not I'm closer to, uh, you'll see right now. Well, I'm within the group still, right? Anyway, if he, he will have a higher chance of failing than I would, right? Make sense? Yeah. I have to be within the group, okay? Oh, so you're just like getting a random grade? I said I was about to fail. <laughs> <laughs> if I had this score, I would rather be here than here, okay? Uh -huh. That's what it means by the average. When they said average, it doesn't really tell you much. Don't go by the average. Go by standard deviation and the average. That gives you a better picture, right? Yeah. Standard deviation here is two. Actually, forget what I said. Don't go by standard deviation or average, okay? Go with the say with the medium. The medium is eight, right? And we have quartiles. This is just percentage, okay? We have one outlier here, right? That's the A student. There's no outliers here, which is good because that means that the class isn't curve. What you see is what you get. Or it could be curve depending on how the teacher feels. But that outlier <laughs> um, is what we call curve breakers. He, he made the curve. He made, it's based on him now. Here is based on the teacher or the class. 
no one gets a silent curve. Does that make sense? Yes. Why would you want to be in? I want to be in the orange group. If I had to choose, I'll be in the orange group. I don't want to be based on someone else's grade. Or it'd be based on the teacher's grade or my grade. Okay. Right? I get it to decide. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah but the curve will change with them. That dude set the curve. He set the curve. It's based on him. The curve here is based. See? Oh, so it's based on the high school. Yeah. Well, that's not the highest score is 13. I'm here, remember where I'm at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm failing. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. Your turn. So, in order to determine if treatment X is accessible to improve eyesight, right, a research a study was made, all right? We have a large population. Is that good or bad? Good. Uh, with poor eyesight, right? Three hundred were selected at random, good or bad? Good. So we have good, good, right? No flaws yet, right? Yeah. So half, half of them took it, half of them didn't. Good or bad? Good. Why is it bad? Because half and half equal, right? Split it in the middle, right? If only like one out of 300 took the treatment, bad. that's bad, that's bad. right? Bad. Equal amount, right? Good. That's good. <laughs> so the data shows that the treatment X did improve eyesight compared to those who didn't, all right? What can you conclude? Okay, does anyone have any questions about the problem? We have a large group, set so at random, split in the middle, half got the treatment, half didn't. It turns out the people who got the treatment, their eyes had improved. Yes. Clean and clean, right? Clean, yeah. What can we conclude, all right? I'm gonna give you some choices and see what you guys pick. The first one is treatment X is likely to improve eyesight. Do you guys um, feel like it can be an answer? Feel like. Okay, one person. Yeah. All right, two. Uh, treatment X improves eyesight better than the other available treatment. Can that be an answer? No, right? That for sure can't. This is not a treatment from all, th it's only for treatment X, right? Mm -hmm. That's bad conclusion. Treatment X will improve eyesight to anyone who takes it, good or bad. Bad, bad right? You can't say it will. Okay, statistics never tells you it will. It tells you it will and likely could happen. Might. Might. It will never say it will. Okay. Treatment X will cause a good improvement in eyesight. Mm -hmm. I go with A. You go with A? Yeah. Why A and not D? What's the word? That likely. 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 Make sense? Yes. It's this probability, and likely, could, might, not always. So we have another one. So we have a table that's not incomplete, all right? This is now algebra and stats combined. Um, there are five, uh, five times as many right-handed female students that there are left Hundred female students. Whoa. Let's stop there. Someone tell me an equation for that Extension. sentence. Extension. So we have five times as many right handed than we have left handed. If we have one left handed, how, how many do I have? Five right handed. If I have two? Ten. Ten. If I have three? Fifteen. So what am I doing? Yeah, you do five times the number of left hand. Does that make sense? Yes. So five L gives you R, right? I hope you guys understand what L R represent. Let's keep on going. There are nine times as many right-handed male students that there are left-handed students.
they have a total number of so we have 18 left and 122 right handed so L total is one Still recording? Yeah. Look can you see? Do you have a black uh, marker? No. No. Okay. Check your desk. Um we have eighteen, right? Uh I found the pressure. Yeah, skip to black. I'll trade you with the contrast. Jeremy has blue. Blue's fine. Blue's better than, than purple. So, L is equal to 18. LT, and then right is 122. This is total, right? Yeah. What does total mean? Where, where are we adding? Which groups? Boy, uh, female and male, right? Yeah. So let's make some equations. Does anyone have any ideas how to start? Five I just gave you guys hints. 5L plus 18. 5L plus 18. Anyone agree with that? No. 5L equals 18? 6 L equals 18. Six L equals 18. Can, if I add boy plus girl, does this give me uh, a hybrid of boy and girl? Mm -hmm. oh, so you know, just without R plus 9L is um, 122? 18. 18. 18. Right? Left plus left equals left. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So what she did was this 5L, right? That's female, plus male, which is 9L, gives me what? The total 18. number, which is 18, right? And R1 plus R2 gives me 122, right? Make sense? Yes. Did anyone get it?
Hasn't it been on? No. Oh. Turn it off. I don't know how to turn it on. Thank you. Have to speak louder because it's going to pick up the The five L, nine L, the right. That's not wrong. That is right. But what they stand for, that's where I got confused. What does the L represent? That factor, right? Yes. Let's change it to. And 
how many so x and y okay x will stand for female and y will stand for male okay this is for the left hand this equals 18 right as we said before the 5x that is equal to r right this b for the right this is also r and this is the knight x for the female right now we could do the the math. Before we had L and L, right? So I had to vary. I have L L. That didn't work out. You can't do. You can't have that in a solid matrix. So it's be X Y X Y, right? We could add up the left. So let's just focus on the one that we can't add up, which is the male and female, right? We can't add males and males. I'm sorry, males and females, right? So let's solve this. Which method do you want to use? Substitution or elimination? Uh, Doesn't matter. Substitution? Okay, which one do you want to substitute for? X? Why not Y? If I do X, I'm trying to solve for a female, right? Right? So I need to solve for x. So we substitute y. Um, can someone tell me what nine times eighteen is? One hundred and sixty-two. One hundred and sixty-two. with the 9, 9 times 18, and then 9 times the 8 of x, right? What's uh, 122 minus 162? It should just be 40, right? Okay, 40. Divide by negative 4, right? X equals 10. X equals 10. That'll be for the right, right? Right female? So, which one do I plug it in? The 5x. So, the answer is 50, right? 50 over what? What's the sample? What's the group size? At least two up. One forty. One forty. What's fifty over one forty? That's for the group size, right? What are they ask what are they asking for? They're asking for Oh, sorry. Right females, so you look at the right group, right? The, the sample size for the right. Right? So it's not 140, it's 122. Sorry. It asks only for the 
right hand students. That's it. So don't do the mistake I just did. Read the question. Okay. Did this one make sense? Yeah. Yeah. It asked for the right. Handed, right? Yeah. Only asked for the right handed students. If we solve the equation, we end up getting x to be, to be 10, right? 10 times 5 is 50. 50 over 122 is. Oh, yeah. Okay. This one's easy. They're asking for the mean of this, um, of this. Okay? So how do you find the mean? So anyone could do this. We still need the end. All right. <laughs> so that should be 50. Right? Robin, you just add them all up and divide by the sample size. And then you, and that should, that should come out to be a decimal, but if you round. What was it? 58 point. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What was it? 58 point. No, you're not. You got it. You got it. I did the wrong one. 58 round to the nearest tenth. So. Yes. Two more, and that's it. This one's a little trickier than the me. Anyone have any ideas for this one? But to me, it's an average question. <laughs> for the first 10 ratings, right, what was the average? How many did we do? What's the bottom number? Do we know any of these numbers? No. Can I just say x? Yes. What is it equal to? 85. Wait, what is it? 75? What's x? What's x? How do I solve for x? So what's x? They add the summation so we equal to 50, right? Okay, so that's for the first 10, right? Yes. It says, what is the value of the store you can receive for the left rating is to be able to have an average at least 85, right? For the first 20 ratings, right? Yeah. So what's it equal to? How many am I doing? They want to know the average, the, how many can I get, right? What, what's uh, the first 10? 750, that's 75, 750, right? Do we know anything from this? Alright. 
Try to get an 85. What's plus? So, what's the eleventh value rating should be, and still get an average, at least 85 for the first 20 ratings, right? What does that mean? We're not dividing though. <laughs> so, This least, right? Least value, right? So if we're being optimistic, right? Which should be the twelfth to the twentieth. What value should are we, are we hoping to get? That's perfect. Someone said it. That's perfect. It's a perfect value. A hundred, right? Right? Yeah. So what should I get from the 12th to 20? If I'm doing it. Is this least, right guys? Yes. If it's this least, what should the other values be? Worst case scenario. Come on guys. If I'm failing all my classes and I need my final, right? Yes. Or say I'm passing all my classes with perfect scores, right? comes to the final, perfect scores, and comes to the final, what's the least grade I get, right? What does perfection mean? What percentage is perfection? So what should I get from the 12 to 20? 100. So, why? This is least. That's the least. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you yeah, have five tests, okay? I want, for some weird reason, right, the second test, I know I cannot do so well. For some reason, right? Let's say I had to go to a party the day before, so I know I can't. I'll stay up all night, right? I had to. I stay all night, right, with my friends, so I can't study. Right? Let's just say that. Okay? What's the least grade I could get, right? To get a 85 in the class, right? That means I had to get perfection on all of them, right? 15%. Perfection. 100, right? On these? Does that make sense? Yeah. So I could get the least, one, right? If one of them is not 100, then means this one can't be the least. Does that make sense? I'm trying to get the lowest score possible on this test, but get the highest scores on all of them, so this one could be low as possible. And the rest has to be 100. Does that make sense? Right? So we don't know what this is, right? How many hundreds should I have? That's 12 to 20. Is this the 1 to 10 rating, the 11th rating, 1 to 12 to 20? How many hundreds? 12, 13, 14, 8, 8? Averages, right? So you guys can take averages. I know you guys can. But the ATT does not want that. They want to see if they can 
trying to make it hard. This was hard. Yes. <laughs> 50. <laughs> 20 times uh, 85, right? What is it? What's uh, 20 times 85? Oh, um, uh, 1,700. And then 750 times 9 is? I don't know. You subtract 1 from 750. Right? Someone check my math. Apparently, not good today. Right? If you add these two, yeah. I get this, right? Right? Multiply this over, right? So you get 17, right? Plus x, right? Subtract, subtract these two, what do I get? 50. Does that make sense? I could score 50, that's the lowest rating, right? I could get if everything was optimistic. Nice, right? Okay, last one. It's just a word. So, a market selects 200 people at random if they like a certain book. 200 people were shown a movie based on the book, so Harry Potter, and then asked if they liked it or disliked it, right? 95% said they disliked the movie. Okay, it's not Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> of those surveys, 95, uh, yeah, we that. Which of the following inferences can we appropriately, <laughs> thank you, be drawn from this survey? 95% of people who go see the movie will dislike this movie. Can I say that? No. Because it says what? What word is to say that I got to say no? Will, right? We never use will in statistics. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Right? It's more, right? 95% of the people who read books, again, will, right? Just, ah. No, 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 That most. This is, this is specific, doesn't it? So that, let me face it. If the census says really specific, right? Avoid it. Okay? Really specific. Most, right? It's not specific. So the will part is not specific. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. Most people who dislike this book will, this will like the movie. Why? Because first of all, it's Okay. Does everybody agree? Yeah. All right. Someone explain this to me. Oh, because it's, I don't know. The more information we have, the more <laughs> no, you're right. It's probably. It's just probably. Okay, well then, there you go. No, no information. We get confused, right? No, actually, information doesn't have you confused, but also too much information has you confused. Yeah, no information confuses you, right? I tell you, go fix it by giving a manual, no tools, no directions. You're confused, right? Don't confuse yourself. Got it. I get it. I get it. You guys can only get so much information before you get confused, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's it. Yeah.